Hello all, welcome in this here PHAP team YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a tutorial for creation of intra company and inter GSTN STO stock transfer order. Fine. So this is a this is theoretical aspects we are creating here, but you should understand what is the process is going. Okay. So for creation of the STO, we we need to execute the transaction code ME21N and <clears throat> in the document type you need to choose ZGTO. Hope you understand. What is meaning of the intra company? For example, our company is operating on Pan India basis. Our company is operating on the Pan India basis and uh, providing services in the different different states so gstn of uh, our company in particular state is different for example gstn of the our company in the telangana state is different and in the kerala state is different okay so hope you understand why we are focusing on the intra company means the company is same but gstn is different that's why i am focusing on the intra company and inter gstn we have another case also intra company and intra gstn because we are uh, transferring the stock order in the same state same gstn premise area okay so we will discuss that case in the later stage here you need to create the purchase order okay you need to execute the transaction code ME21 and, and the document type ZZTO. Fine. So, and that purchase order is created by receiving plant. Which plant is going to receive the stock? Okay. So, uh, here we are going to, we have created this uh, screenshot. Okay. And, uh, this is the document date. This is the material for which we are creating the stock transfer order, the quantity delivering and the plant. Okay. The plant is receiving plant. Once we create the purchase order in the item category unknown and the, with the material of the any material here, we have taken the FC cable 2012 fiber and approve this purchase order. Okay. Once the purchase order is in the release stage, then you supplying you just hand over this purchase order number to supplying plant supplying plant will create the obd obd outbound delivery using transaction code vl0 okay so hope you understand what is uh, the process of creating obd so you will create once we create the obd and do post good issue pgi this is the SD process, which is done by the supplying plant. Then outbound delivery. Okay. This is the outbound delivery, uh, outbound delivery number ship to party. Okay. And uh, 1219. Okay. <laughs> okay. So The next process is the next workflow. Once you complete this uh, outbound delivery creation and uh, post good issue, the same supplying plant, supplying plant will create the billing document by VF01N. Okay, VF01. This is the SD process by supplying plant. Use the billing document type ZZTO. Okay. In the billing document type, your ZZTO invoice print, okay, print your the invoice, and then hand over this invoice to receiving plant, okay. From this stage to this stage, from this stage to this stage, creation of the OBD post good issue, creation of the billing document is for the supplying plant. Once you hand over the invoice number which is created on uh, VF01, create good receipt against OBD. This is the MIGO process which is done by 
which is done by receiving plant okay display material document number and me go so you just understand the workflow then you can create if you have a basic knowledge regarding the same then you can create okay you can display the in the material document is using mb03 or in the MIGO go to the display material document you just check this okay okay now execute the transaction code zfi underscore j underscore one i z underscore invoice by receiving one this is just like doing miro in the case of the vendor because the supplying plant is treated as the vendor and the receiving plant is treated as the customer okay so once we take any material from a vendor then at the end of the pay to procure procurement to pray process we need to run the miro and subsequently done the payment to vendor but in this case we are doing the process in same company we are doing the process in the same company so we need to run the miro for the adjustment of this accounting entry in our books okay so before executing the transaction code zfi underscore j underscore one iz underscore inv we need to do this process okay receiving plant will get info record maintained by mm l3 team before executing this Z, this in my Miro process zfi underscore j underscore one iz inv via template mm11 if jet gto type po is being created first time for the material vendor and receiving plant combination hope you understand if this is created for the material vendor vendor is a supplying plant and receiving plant receiving plant is a receiving plant combination then you should uh, maintain the record first before executing this transaction template for this is the template for okay this is mm 11 template this template is easily available in your erp help Dex website and uh, i'm also showing this okay uh, vendor code material code purchase organization receiving plan delivery time standard quantity net price tax code Okay, you should maintain this data uh, before uh, executing this transaction. Hope you understand. Okay. You simply need to uh, raise a PIS in ARP MM and uh, sign to MML3 and uh, just uh, mention all the details. We need to executing this transaction. Then please maintain the info record. Then you need uh, your AO claim. AO claim will execute this transaction code here you need to uh, receiving plant will execute this company code sending plant receiving plant posting date okay in this selection gst invoice select the gst invoice option here gst outbound invoice enter the gst invoice number and here uh, the in gst invoice creation date okay system throw error if user did not fulfill the parameter mentioned in the web screen okay then you can check the report uh, here and j underscore one iz underscore inb underscore invoice underscore stu uh, use this transaction code you will get all the record like purchase document number obd document number and this is the invoice number created on the gst sequence number and all you can also check this report uh, for checking uh, any uh, previous record okay a document number will generate okay so a document number will generate if, if you successfully execute the uh, transactions and uh, this is the purchase document number and this is the obd number this is invoice document number this is created on this is gst segment number this is document number this document number is looking like myro number hope you understand because our Miro number will start uh, is generally, is generally starting from 5-1, okay? So, you can understand this, okay? This document is posted similar to Miro in the system and accounting entry is posted during tax invoice, okay? Uh, this is the accounting entry, okay? Uh, for example, uh, this uh, 
account 12191 uh, is uh, debited with the same amount and uh, stock transfer clearing account is credited with this amount and output IGST is credited with the same amount okay hope you understand this and uh, if you have any query mention in the comment section okay I uh, hope you understand this we will do uh, this in the practical uh, manner in later stage okay so you can also understand this process okay so hope you understand and if you think that this is the really helpful tutorial for you then please uh, press a like button and uh, share with your colleagues who is working in our company and uh, they will also get understand this process okay thank you have a nice day see you in the next tutorial this tutorial we are creating for the understanding and the training purpose not for the real part of the data so thank you